Hi, everybody. Jim Hahn with Real Life Rosary and a meditation for today. Today is Sunday, so happy Sunday. Hope it's going great for you. Hope you are spending some time relaxing, enjoying your family and your friends and maybe the outdoors if it's nice. It's beautiful here today. I mean, anything's better than snow and ice in Ohio. Um, today, I just wanted to look at one part of the readings, not even the gospel or the first reading, just the psalm, the responsorial psalm. I love this psalm. Every time I hear it at Mass, I just love it. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. And we sing it. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. And I love it. I just love it. It's one of my favorites. But I think that often it's, we have this mindset that, oh my gosh, oh, today might be the day. Today might be the day that God speaks to me. I'm going to be ready. I'm so going to be ready if he speaks to me today. Oh, it's like winning the lottery. God's going to speak. Is it today? Maybe it's tomorrow. I'm going to be ready. If today I hear his voice, and I think that's the attitude we have, but I think that might be incorrect. I think God speaks to us every day. And the psalmist is saying, if today you or me, if today you hear his voice, Jim, harden not your hearts. It's not that God's not speaking. He's speaking constantly to me. I just don't listen. I'm too busy with my phone, I'm too busy with my work, too busy with my kids, too busy to focus and listen, right? I'm just, I'm, I'm everywhere. If today you hear his voice, it's not that he's not speaking. If you're open to it, you'll hear it. It's like when you sit in a quiet room and you just stop. All of a sudden you can hear things. Like I can hear the the ticking of the clock. I can hear the furnace kick on or the furnace blowing through the vent. If I'm quiet enough, if I get rid of all those distractions, I can start to hear things. It's the same thing with God. If today I hear his voice, if I'm open to hearing his voice, harden not your hearts. Now that's the other part of it. Harden not your hearts. I mean, gosh, if I'm going to hear the hear God speak to me, why would I harden my heart? This is God. He's speaking to me. Sometimes he says things we don't want to hear. Sometimes it's convicting. Sometimes it's difficult. Um, Jim, I have this suffering in, in place for you. What? I, that's, that's not what I wanted to hear. I don't, I don't want to hear about suffering. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts, no matter what he says to you. And we can't just assume that everything's going to be bad because so, so much of it is good. The majority of our life is good, really. If we look at it through that lens, the majority of our life is good. I mean, I've had some tough times and I've gone through some stuff. But it's all just, it, it fades in comparison to everything he's given me. So I can't get caught up on, you know, something that might be bad. And, and we talked about it yesterday. Um, the disciples were terrified. And he said, why are you terrified? Don't you have faith? It's the same thing. God may lead us through some stuff. But he's always there, and we just got to quiet ourselves, listen, trust, and have faith. Easier said than done, right? So today, if you hear his voice, if you're open to hearing it, don't harden your hearts. Trust him. Trust him. He's going to take you through whatever it is. Relationships, family, health, God will take you through it, and he'll see you through to the end. That end may be heaven, God willing. That end may be, you know, making it through on the other side of financial problems. That end may be making it through counseling um, to, to save your marriage or, or whatever it might be. Open your ears to his heart or open your ears and harden not your heart. He wants to speak to you. He's always speaking. It's you and me. We're the ones who have to clean out the uh, earwax. So listen to him this week. And I hope you have a great week. God bless you.